welcome viewers to softidemy a software engineering academy today we will discuss about units per time and user preferences setting log chronography 6 like share comment subscribe and press bell icon now here we will go in edit in user preferences you can see units per time format so units per time format can be two types one is percentage and one is hour per day so here when we see in the resource budgeted units per time is in percentage already i will change it to hour per day so 269 hour per day so the worker will work this team will work 469 hour per day you can assume easily 469 hours or how many worker will work for example 469 hours you can work for each each labor work 10 hours so you need 46.9 people so means 47 people you need to do that so in a day you can also see like you can go in the user preferences in the day if you close this one you can see 47 days per day so 47 people per day required to do that job so if we go here in the edit user preferences we change it to its original it will be helpful for for us so how many percentage required per day a part time a unit time to complete that job so you have to multiply 469 into 10 you will get 469 4690% for that one so i multiply by day hours with it 4690 with it to multiply by 10 it will get you original percentage here so for example so why it's not accurate here we will go here in the edit in the preferences we will show in the hour per day here and its percentage 4687 we will go here in user preferences we will show in the hour per day so you can see 469 and we will show here if it show decimal here so you can see 468.75 so it multiply by 10 to get its original percentage because 10 hour per day you are working the same for example i add here any resource error so here 8 hour per day working and it will multiply by 10 to get out its 80% it will get go to 80% so whenever it talk about percentage you can go easily and you can talk about 4687.5 divided by 10 so it's 468 hour per day so to get out your monday you will divide by if you working 8 hour you will divide by 8 you will get your monday if you were working for 10 hour you will divide it by 10 468.75 you can divide by 10 so you can get your actual mandates so whenever you add percentage here for example i go here in the plumber i add here 4795.26 so this percentage so how much hours we will consider we can will consider 479.5 for 3 divided by 10 so these are our 479.53 we will go here and add it use the preferences and we will change you can see here 479.53 so these are when you adding your percentage you will divide it by you will multiply by 10 and divide by 10 to get out per time so you will get days for that one hour per day so while you adding a resource there is parent resource where you can add here default units per time you can add percentage and units per time you can add your 
maximum units per time here. So this is our today's content about binary units per time, how to manage percentages or hour per day and understand you about this setting that how percentage will calculate it and how percentage is managed in Paramavira P6 about units per time and how you can consider your hour per day if you want to enter hour per day. So it's up to your choice how you want to enter your percentage. So I just briefly explained you about that one. So thanks for watching Softy Demi. Like, share, comment and don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe my channel. We'll meet you next video.